they held, they held Thailand to eight. Yes, they held New Zealand to nine, but these two teams obviously met in the pool phase. It was not close. New Zealand trying to get some get back. We're gonna see if they make the adjustments to make this game more competitive. Robotti will miss the shorty to start things off. Over to Anna Lee Maley, that's in and out. As Hippolyte sets her sights. At Not least, tonight. At least New Zealand is aggressive early, Kyle. They came up with a good set play to start the game off. But the key for them is going to be defensively. Can they contain Mighty Australia? Robati has missed a couple of shorties. She's got to settle into this game. Her team is going to need her. Marina Whittle, as tough as they come. She will miss it. Hippolyte. It's going to be a foul on Maley. Doing battle with Sharn uh, Robati. She will check out as Ezra McGoldrick will come in. And Ella Fotu setting up in the corner. Fotu coming around. She's played a great tournament, especially when you consider that she had 12 months off. Took the call happily and has shown up for New Zealand. The tall ferns lead it one zip. If McGoldrick can show up big in this final, New Zealand could have its hopes much higher. Just a, a minute in, this is the gold medal game. Kyle Montgomery, AKA The Voice, here with you, Angelo Sagarakis, AKA The Czar. Good travel. And Kyle, something to, uh, to also put on the table, it's never easy to play the same opponent twice in the same tournament. No. I mean, it's already the familiarity that uh, that doesn't really work in your favor, I think. Especially if you dominated easily the first one. Goldrick, who obviously struggled in that first contest between them. She struggled in pool play. Oh, get your <laughs> weight off. Alex Wilson just plays at a different, different Category. level, right? Yeah. She is a mean one even without the green Grinches on. 1-1. One, one. And too late in the shot clock as they get the horn. But at least Australia is, playing, is being slowed down early in this game. They usually start off like gangbangers. And right now it's a 1-1 one, one game after two minutes. They are the Gangaroos. <laughs> They feel like Singapore is their territory as well. Second foul on New Zealand. It was a 22 to nine win for Australia in their undefeated campaign. One of the victims was New Zealand. Alex Wilson. Makes it 2-1. Ella Foe 2. Foe 2 needs to be away. much more precise in her decision making. Whittle will miss it. There you go. That's a great recognition. Robotti Kyle had started sealing Whittle even before her teammate secured possession. That's, that's the kind of detail that makes you successful offensively when you're capable of understanding what's about to happen next. Now, if the, if the lights pass a little bit off the mark, they get the whistle there, but I think they gotta be a lot more careful yes. and judicious with the way they're passing the ball because Australia have active hands in the passing lanes. They're locked in. You've heard them tell us many times that they, they hang their hats on defense. It is Marina Whittle. Stopping her is like trying to drown a shark. There you go. People like trying to come heavy with the outside shooting. And a lead. Took her on the merry-go-round. This is her playground. 4-3. Australia, but New Zealand are showing some fight. Much more so than the first matchup between the two, but Annalie Maley, former WNBA -er. One point game, McGoldrick. It's not. 
it's not a good recognition because if it's McGoldrick that he's coming off that handoff with a switch with a Mansfield jumping on her, she's not going to be able to operate the way she wants. And Mansfield, just like a cookie monster, going after the ball like she's hungry. Yeah, she's, uh, she's usually putting the offensive player in front of her in custody. I don't think she reads him any rights. They don't even get a phone call. She's that tough defensively. Her hands, Hippolyte, gets a hand in there, pokes it away. Whittle and Annalie Maylee start the possession for the Gangaroos. Whittle's down, now she's back up. Annalie Maylee kicks it out to Wilson. Wilson, stroke one, stroke in that time. Hippolyte. No, she would miss the mark. Wilson will clear it herself. She's got Robachi in front of her. Pick and roll, but an offensive foul is called. Moving on, on the screen, apparently. And it's time for immediate timeout. 6.41 left in our gold medal game. Here from Singapore, it is a close one between two rivals, New Zealand and Australia. I like the fact that New Zealand is giving Australia a challenge early on. They're not letting Australia settle comfortably in this game. Making it a game. They could clean a lot of things up, especially trying to feel feet for body in the paint. They've not been accurate enough with those passes. But in the end, they're right there. Only trailing by one. Look at this defense from Whittle. Look at this defense from the Ganga Rules. Mansfield with the scoop, Whittle. Man, she is so active. So active on the glass. Again, she was she averaged double digit scoring at last year's event route to MVP. She could be in line for back-to-back -back MVPs with the way that she is asserting herself everywhere so far in this game. Rebounding, scoring, defending. Yes. Oh, oh too easy. Oh! I jinxed her. Maybe I jinxed her. <laughs> you never see her miss a layup like that. See, but what had happened was... Uh, <laughs> it's very rare to see Whittle spoil dessert that way, but it's okay. Still early. O2 with nowhere to go. And Lee Maley had her own punishment. Look at this more suffocating defense from the Gangaroos. That's not good if you're New Zealand, that you cannot even take a chance at the basket. If anything, throw up a prayer. It may get answered eventually, but not shooting is the worst kind of turnover that you can have. Wilson to Maley. Maley forcing the shot up. McGoldrick with a nice defense. Hippo light, can she hit one? No, the stroke ain't stroking. Annalie Maley up off the glass. Was waiting for some offense. It had been missing. Good idea, but poor execution from Fotu. Wilson, no. Oh. Maley's going to hit the deck. She's showing some of that intensity and passion. How about that? Five team fouls against Australia. Couldn't New Zealand work them way, their way back into this game with the free throws, kind of like what the boys did? Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So Robati just made the move. Alex Wilson was on the receiving end of it. Ooh. That was a shoulder, it looked like. Not, not intentional, but... You did mention that she was Stephen Adams' niece. Yes. <laughs> so she did mention it. <laughs> Adelie Maley. It's a misfire. Loose ball goes to Hippolyte. Hippolyte from 18 feet. No. Whittle comes away with the, well, the rebound. Hippolyte has a lot of shots. She needs to knock a few down. Whittle. Whittle. Wild 
na 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 Get your weight up, back. Oh! oh it's working. And so is Wilson. <laughs> Maybe he can't find the finishing touches of that spin. Robati off the back iron. Wilson to Whittle. Whittle short on the shot. And Lee Maley, she will let it go. And she finds the bottom of the net. Five point lead. What can you do if you're New Zealand? If it's not Wilson, it's Whittle. If it's not Whittle, it's Maley. And then you have Mansfield doing it all, creating gaps in the defense, driving middle, dishing and putting a tremendous amount of pressure defensively on you. What do you do, Kyle? Well, you, you pick your poison and you accept your fate. <laughs> pick your poison and accept your fate. It is what it is. This is a dangerous team and, and one through four that can hurt you. You hope to find a strategy to where you can exploit them in some kind of way, but it, it's hard to do. Mansfield with the crossover. Maley is there to clean things up. Robati turns around. She finally gets one to go. Right Great in the center move. of the paint. Yes. And a two possession game. Certainly not a blowout, or certainly not looking like one in this one. As Mansfield connects on the midi. We are now past the four minute mark and time for immediate time out. So, Whittle bleeding a little bit. Maybe she got cut on the, on the forehead area. Yeah, I, didn't, I wouldn't have saw where it, it happened. Yeah, I, I remember the moment that she kind of touched her head when she went to go uh, screen. Maybe asked for the pick and roll. She went up. She was kind of touching the side of her head. And um, it, it had to have happened right before that. Probably just a scratch on the skull, but you know those thin layers of skin over there, they, they, they bleed real easy. Well, she's, uh, she's in the game. I don't see any uh, blood at the moment. Nothing. Robati travels meantime. I don't know if you say cauterize. Uh, is that how you say it? You cauterize the, the cut quick to stop the bleeding? That it? sounds like a medical term to me. I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> Would I teach you an English term right now? <laughs> All I know is bars. Yes, you do. And you eat them also. I got more bars than Willy Wonka. Uh -oh, never mind. I'll say that one. I should have thought about it before I did. <laughs> Willy Wonka with the chocolate. Don't worry, I know what you're talking about. 11 to 5. Australia. Great long pass. Got to finish strong now. Oh, Robati. May Lee saw she defended a lot more intelligently that time. She didn't want to pick up the seventh foul, but she does throw it away. 319 to go in our gold medal game. Seventh edition of the Asia Cup. Australia have already earned three golds. New Zealand have won one gold back in 2018, where they had to go through the Aussies in the semifinals to get it. For them to get their second goal, they got to erase a four-point deficit with three minutes to play. Widow, driving, grinding, getting fouled. She will shoot one. But I like the fact that this game is much more competitive than the pool play game. I like how New Zealand responded physically and did not back down to uh, the Australian challenge. The problem is the Black Widow is just too tough. She's too strong, the way she drives to the cup. And when you're thinking about the Olympic qualifiers coming up, Team Australia can fare well in many kind of ways. They can beat you with the outside touch, with the smooth team game, but they can also beat you up physically if necessary. I expect them to contend uh, for that slot at the OQT. Sean, Papuke, Robati, bringing New Zealand within three. That's what I'm saying. The momentum can shift in a game at any moment. And New Zealand, got you can, you can see that they've got that look in their eyes. And plus, you have the 16 fouls going against Australia. 
that could provide them a huge boost in case of a foul drawn. Magol rig by herself to... Oh, she did not see her foot two. Yeah, Dribbling with the head down. Mansfield. Earns the whistle. So back to back. Well, that's the now sixth foul on New Zealand. A shooting foul. Mansfield. Try to slow the charge of the tall ferns who have gotten themselves within three. 2.27 to go. Just one coming up here for Mansfield. And Fotu dribbling with her head down, missing out on an, op on an opportunity for an easy bucket. Back to four point difference. Oh, turnover. Fotu. Fotu's been turning the ball over too much in this game. Oh, Sharon is caring. It's a lot of love with the Gangaroos. Faux two. Faux two. Faux two! Oh! You can bank on her. It's 14-11. That's one way to make up for turnovers, right, Kyle? Oh, man. The two ball is the great equalizer in this game. Big rebound. Wilson gets it to Mansfield. What in the world? It <laughs> make up for it underneath. <laughs> what in the world? Good. Thankfully for her, May Lee was there. Hippolyte. But they are waiting on Hippolyte to knock one of those down. She's a good shooter. She is. It's unfortunate for New Zealand that she hasn't found her, her stroke, but it's not over. But this very possession might decide the game. 134 and counting. Wilson sees an advantage against Fo two. She goes to the fadeaway. McGoldrick will get it cleared with Hippolyte. Hippolyte picked up her dribble. I'm not sure why. Anyway, McGoldrick will attack Maylee. McGoldrick elevates. She will miss. Whittle's been all over the glass like road trip bugs. She gets the rebound. Wait, but Whittle is down and in pain. Uh-oh. That will only add to it. She Hippo finally found it. Hippo Light found the stroke. Whittle is down. And it's very slow to get up. It is a two-point game. Kyle, I said it before when Hippolyte found the way to that long-range bucket. She's trying to come heavy with the outside shooting. And the main thing is this, at this point of the game, to knock this one down gives New Zealand a true opportunity. The hope is real. The game is not over. Imagine one defensive stop. Drawing a foul. Anything. A minute and three is an eternity in 3x3. We will see. And that is right. Old McGoldrick. Call for the foul. And you're right. In a contest like this, Australia up by two points with Wilson now about to shoot two. That was the seventh on New Zealand. A minute is a lot of time. Neither team is close to that 21-point mark. So there's no jeopardy of them getting to, to 21. The girls are trying to prevent themselves from living what the man experienced last year with the upset against Mongolia late in the game. Big misses with a good offensive rebound from Anneli Maley. Mansfield, can she finish with the scoop? The opportunities have been there. They have been there, and Gangaroos, this is the first time the entire tournament, we've seen them tested. Yeah. This is the very first game they've been tested. And with 48 ticks left, New Zealand can pull within one or tie. Ella, vote two. No. Oh, nice snatch back. Oh. I got something for you. Alex Wilson, right on time for the Gangaroos. The Mamba runs deep in her bloodstream. 
Low two. Trying to answer. A two would be huge. Hip or light forces one up. Wilson. We'll this is over. This is over, Kyle. I don't know, not yet. This I'm is not over, Kyle. Say, now it is. It is over. Yes, she just gives him a little more. <laughs> <laughs> Australia look like they're going to hold on for the win here with the final five seconds winding out. A rematch of last year's final. Different year, same result. Gangaroos, throw your sets up. Gold medal winners in back-to-back -back years. New Zealand will take silver. The fourth all-time gold medal for the Australian women. They are setting the bar. Forget about that. They are raising the bar. Each and every edition of the Asia Cup in 18-13 final. They are golden once again. Congratulations to both of these teams and the effort that they put in. Silver is not, the, not a bad medal to have, trust and believe. So New Zealand played tough, and they will get silver for the second consecutive year.